welcome to our kit reveal for round 10 in our For the Love of Homemade kit series. This is a collaboration of um, homemade kit videos that I do with Hannah, Christina, Maggie, Crafty Maggie, and Felicia. So for this month, we are doing a mini kit. So our kits aren't going to be very big this month and we're only going to have two weeks of videos. And then we also decided that our kits were going to be based on a cut file. So this was the cut file we chose. It's from the cut shop. Um, and so when I looked at this cut file, I thought this would be really fun to use on wedding layouts. And just so happens I have some wedding photos because my sister got married in June. So I based my kit off of I wanted to do wedding photos and... So I, when I started to look for colors, I looked for colors that would coordinate with her wedding. So that's what my kit is going to look like. So our kit recipe, because it's a mini kit, our kit recipe is a little bit smaller. So we're only going to do three pattern papers this, this round. So this is my first pattern paper that I chose. This is from Allison Kraft. It's from her Sprinkled with Love line, which is a couple of years old. Alice and Craft is one of my absolute all-time favorite scrapbook line designers. And she doesn't, she hasn't done a new line of scrapbook parks in a very long time. She used to design both for Echo Park and for Webster's Pages. So I have a lot of her collections, but I, I kind of stopped using them after <laughs> she stopped designing lines because I really really like them but I do have this one and my idea is to use this side of the paper as a background for a layout. I only cut one of my cut shop files because I decided when I started cutting this one well after I start after I cut this one out I decided that I wanted to cut this one apart a little bit and alter it and use it for two layouts so that's what I'm going to do. So that's my first paper. My second paper is this one from the On Trend 2 collection, or the On Trend collection, the first, first one, first one, from My Mind's Eye, and it has this fun, like, foil polka dot on it. And then the third paper I chose, this is a little bit of a newer paper. This is from Kaiser Craft. This is the Boho Dreams collection. Um, this is, paper is called Bohemian, and it has all these little code parts on the back, but that's not what I'm going to use it for. I'm using it for this wood grain. So those are my papers. And then the next thing we had was scraps or so it was scraps or six by six papers, but I wanted to use eight by eight papers. So that's what I pulled. These are all eight by eight papers from Pretty Little Studio. The Woodlands Collection. I also have just a couple of scraps of some vellum, um, a couple of scraps of uh, like some gold foil paper, and then a couple of scraps of this. This paper is from Fancy Pants. That's what this paper's from. It's, um, I don't remember the line. It was part of a click kit a couple of months ago, so. And I just have this piece of stripe left. So those are all of the papers in my kits this round. And then we were to choose one. The next thing we were to choose was one alphabet. And I chose this gold alphabet from Maggie Holmes. This is from the Gather Collection. And it's just like gold puffy alphabet stickers. So really pretty. And I thought that they would make nice titles and there's lots of them in this pack so I have lots and lots of letters I can make a longer title if that's what I choose to do. The next thing, let me just grab all of my embellishments here. Next thing on my list is a dimensional embellishment. So I chose these because I have a very um, some very specific wedding pictures in mind. And these are chipboard, so they're chipboard, like, mustache stickers. And they also have, like, this, I don't know, 
Seal that's like enamel stuff on them and they're pretty thick, definitely dimensional. So I put those into my kit as my dimensional embellishments and um, you're going to like the pictures I have to go with those photos. And then we had one pack of another type of embellishment. So I went with a collection of all of these little tabs and frames and die cuts from Pretty Little Studios Woodland Collection. And the next thing were sequins and I chose two packs of sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. One is the Hot Right Now collection and one is the Peach um, Sorbet collection. And I think my plan is to take some of these peachy sequins, peachy like corally colored sequins from this collection and mix them with some of these navy blue sequins from this collection because my sister's wedding colors, in case you didn't know or couldn't tell from what I picked, my sister's wedding colors were navy blue and coral, like a peachy coral. And her wedding was in a, her reception, well she had an outdoor wedding and then her reception was in a barn. So this all goes really well. Also we were supposed to choose some um, wood veneer. So this is some wood veneer from Felicity Jane. It's from the Emmeline collection. Emmeline, Emmeline. And so I thought that would be really good. And then I also grabbed this little tag, this little banner piece that was just in my stash. I don't even know who made it or where it was from. It was just, I think it was part of a slide bag from Paper Issues. And it just says dream big. And I thought that would work for a wedding layout if I chose to do that. And then the last thing was ribbon. So I went a little kind of overboard with the ribbon because I just didn't know what I wanted to use. Uh, so I grabbed this like curly blue color, which I, I don't even know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. We'll see. I just, I was just going through my ribbon and I was just grabbing. I, so I grabbed this curly. I grabbed this one, which is also like a peachy pinky color. It has flowers on it. I grabbed this last little piece of um this is Tim Holtz a Tim Holtz trim and this is just my last little bits of it because this was one of my very very favorite things and then again last little bits of this ribbony paper or this ribbony lacy kind of oh I said that so weird okay this little lace trim and then I also pulled this glow gold blah 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 gold glitter tape from close to my heart so we'll see um how that how that all works together and so we're gonna do two layouts my layouts are gonna be wedding layouts um but definitely check the links below to see what everyone else's kits look like there will be uh just i'm sure a huge variety of colors and styles and lots of different kinds of kit contents because of course this cut file is could be used for so, so many things. So have a wonderful day and we will see you Tuesday with our first layout. Bye.